Uh, first, I would want to thank the organizers for giving us the opportunity to come and share our findings on operational challenge and linkages from prevention to mother to child transmission services to care and treatment in Zambia. On the background, uh, there has been great success in the scale up of, of a, a PMTCT program in Zambia with the 97% ARV coverage. There is a there is a need to take advantage of referring these HIV positive pregnant women to HIV care and treatment. There's been few studies on the, the linkage of PMTCT to HIV care and, and treatment, hence we undertook this study. And our study design was a prospective cohort study. We, we did the enrollment from uh, June 2011 to May 2012. And our follow-up was from June 2011 to January 2014. And our site was the Chongwe district, which is in Lusaka province, about 45 kilometers from Lusaka, the capital city of Zambia. And we did the study in 11 uh, health centers, uh, one referral health center. This, is, this health center is like a mini hospital. Uh, and then five other rural health centers where, which provide ART services and other five Health, uh, rural health centers without ART services, but they provide PMTCT service. And during this study, we, used the, we are using the 2010 WHO uh, guidelines of option A. Uh, we enrolled about 195 women who were newly diagnosed in the PMTCT program. And uh, we did the face-to-face -to -f uh, interview, looking at the basic characteristics of the mothers. And then we reviewed the, the clinical records and the smart care, which is the electronic database for HIV uh, care treatment, and looking at the date of enrollment in HIV care, the date of in, uh, ART initiation, and then the last visit to the, to the care. And we, uh, the, on the analysis, we did the, uh, the probability of enrollment in HIV care. We used the capra mea survival function. And the predict, uh, predictors of enrollment in HIV care, we use Cox pro proportional hazards model. Observation time was from uh, HIV diagnosis at antenatal clinic to enrollment in HIV care. And the censored point was uh, 20th January 2014. And the, the basic characteristics of uh, uh, the participants, the median age was 27 years. And about 53.3% per, uh, of them were between the age of 20, 21 to 30 years. And under the edu uh, educational background, about 54.7% uh, of them had the primary school education, which is between grade one and grade seven. And 82% of them were married or they were cohabitating. And 57.4% uh, of them at least had one to three children. We further looked at uh, their partners, whether they were working, and uh, our findings were that at, uh, about 48.5% of, of their, their partners were working. This is in the rural area. Uh, some of them they depend on just agriculture, but they have uh, uh, partners who, who are working in the farms. On the access, we, uh, we found that uh, most of them, they took at least about uh, one to two hours to reach the health facility. That's about 35.9% of them. We further looked at the perception to ARVs and 76.9% uh, of them had positive perception. And on the perception, we, are, we, we were asking uh, questions like, uh, taking a medication for HIV, can they help your immune system? Uh, also, HIV medication that you take, can they make you healthier? And those that were answering yes, we, we took it as a positive perception. Then on the centers where they, they were uh, receiving the services, the referral health center, we had 40.5% of them were receiving the health center at the referral health center, uh, I mean services at the referral health center, and the 28.2% were receiving at the at the rural health centers which provide ART as well, and 31.3% were receiving uh, services at 
uh, rural health centers without ART services. On the linkage, as I said, we enrolled about 195 who were newly diagnosed. Out of these, only 92 were found to have been enrolled in HIV care and treatment. 103 of them did not enroll. That is about 52.8% 52 were not enrolled in HIV care and treatment. On the probability, uh, using the Capra Mea Feria estimate, we found that at six months, the probability was uh, 0 0.32, and at 12 months, probability of the, uh, enrollment was 0 0.42. At 18 months, the probability was 0 0.44. We further looked at uh, 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 testing for HIV out of those that were newly diagnosed. Those that had uh, a CD4 count, sorry, tested were 87. 108 did not have the CD4 count taken. Actually, those when they are diagnosed, the, the, the women when they were diagnosed, they are diagnosed HIV positive, the CD4 count was taken immediately from the, and taken, uh, the bloods were taken to the lab before the, 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 the woman is even referred to for, for enrollment, so that as they go, they already have the results. So out of those, only 87 had the CD4 count tested, 108 didn't have the CD4 count. And, and out of those that had the CD4 count uh, done, uh, 48 had the CD4 count, which, is less, which was less than 350, and these were actually eligible. Uh, only 27 of them were started on ART. 21 did not start at, which is 43, 0.8% of them who were eligible to start at had not yet started ART. And the predict, uh, predictors of for enrollment in HIV care, we found that the maternal age of less than 20, these were less likely to be enrolled in HIV care. The others had no significant value. Then also, we, f we, look we, we further looked, found that uh, those that were attending uh, services at the centers that did not provide ART were less likely to be enrolled in HIV care and treatment. So in summary, 53% uh, of the new HIV positive mothers have not enrolled in HIV care and treatment and 55% of them, uh, HIV positive mothers, were not tested for CD4 count after diagnosis. 44% of those that had CD4 count less than 350 had not yet started ART. The risk factors are the younger maternal age and those attending rural health center that did not provide ART. In conclusion, there is need to strengthen leakage between PMTCT and HIV care and treatment, and also to scale up the HIV services to uh, these other sites. And currently, the, 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 uh, the Minister of Health in April, they, they, they launched the new guidelines. So the country now, we have started using option B+, and we hope this will change the, the linkage because women, when they are tested positive immediately, they are started in ART in, 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 the, in the PMTC service, and their record files are kept there. The, 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 the guidelines further also advised the, 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 their partners. First, we, we encourage on couple, couple counseling. The partners that are also positive, they are initiated on ART. For them, their files are immediately, after starting ART, they are immediately referred to the ART clinic. But for the pregnant women and the breastfeeding women, their record files are kept at MCH, and they will be correcting drugs from there until when they stop breastfeeding or after 18 months. That's when their record files will be referred to the ART clinic. So, Thank you. So yeah, I would like to acknowledge our participants who, who were enrolled in, in, the, in, in the program, the Minister of Health, Minister of Community Development, Mother and Child Health, JICA, NCGM, University of Tokyo, and the mid midwives and the community-based volunteers that helped us to do the study. Thank you. 
Thank you. Um, thanks, Mabel. It's a good uh, presentation now when you're talking about linkage to care. Um, I just wanted you to, I'm Sam Piri from the Lighthouse in Malawi. Uh, I just wanted you to elaborate a little bit more. I found uh, in terms of doing CD4 count, I wanted to see whether you were using point of care or actually you were using the lab because I found that close to half, although you're saying you want to do on the same day, but uh, were not done. And when the results came, when I'm doing the referral, I wanted to mention how the results were going to the referral clinic, whether they were going along with the patient, the woman, or they were just transferred, because I found that uh, there are also other women who are less than 350, but have not been studied on, on, on heart. So I just wanted to touch on that, because I think the other reasons which you're mentioning are making some sense, but these ones are, are really very practical and critical for program implementation. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, actually, the, those that were uh, from non-ERT sites, it was, was a bit of a challenge, because for them, they have to be referred to the ERT site to have their CD4 count collected. But those that are in ERT sites, the blood after correction, the nurse or the, the community volunteer would take the blood to the lab and collect the results and give it to the mother then to, and, and escort the mother to ERT those that were in ERT sites. But the challenge was those that coming from non-ERT sites. Microphone one. Um, hello, Mabel, thank you very much for your presentation. I'm Shannon Shea from Baylor, Tanzania. Um, couple of questions for you. Um, on the mothers who had the AR, AR, um, sorry, the CD4 that was less than 350 who were not started on, on ARVs, were they also the ones who did not register or did they go somewhere, register, and then not get started? So I just wondered what was the correlation between those two. And then also for your linkage, it sounds like um, women in, in Zambia are followed at ANC um, throughout breastfeeding, um, through delivery breastfeeding, and then they get transferred to the um, care and treatment centers. So, um, so at what point did you look and see, did they get linked? Was it at, at 18 months after delivery? Was it 12 months? Was it two years? Um, so just wondering what your timing of that evaluation was. Okay, I can start with the second. Actually, on the second, these are the new guidelines which have started. So we've, we've just started starting this year that the, the record files will be kept at ANC, ANC until the uh, end of a uh, uh, breastfeeding period. Maybe again, the, yeah, the so, first. Um, so, sorry, a, a clarification on that then. So, so when did you evaluate these women? Was it, um, was it a month after they tested positive? Was it somewhere down the road? It, it, so it sounds like your, your, um, your linkage has changed, right? Um, you're following them at ANC clinics now um, throughout um, pregnancy and breastfeeding, but at the time of your study, they were referred immediately? Um, at, the, at, the, at the time after diagnosis, we, they, they were referred to ART clinic. Okay. Yes. Um, and then the first question was, for the women who had CD4s less than 350 who were eligible for ART, were they the ones who, um, and who weren't started, were they ones who didn't ever um, show up at uh, the care and treatment centers, or were they ones that showed up and were not started? Uh, on this one, I think we didn't really uh, check, go, go further to check whether they are the ones that were not registered or okay. the ones that... Yeah, thank you. I was just curious. Mm -hmm. Sure. And let's go to microphone two is first, and then we'll go to microphone four. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm really concerned about the poor linkage. The number was big. So I'm wondering uh, if it wasn't a capacity gap among the health workers, then it should be the attitude. So I don't know whether in your interventions you are considering that. You may scale up to the lower facilities, but there are certain issues you may also need to look at. How are the health workers? Is the capacity built? Is the attitude worked on? However much you can have many centers, you may not achieve it if you don't address some of those other issues concerning the capacity of the health staff. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Actually, right, like right now, we, we have involved the community volunteers. We've, we are also orienting them in the option B+, because we believe these are the people that are in there, out, out there in the community with these people. So 
when, they, when we see that they, they, this woman has not come for their pickup of the drugs, we are going to use these volunteers to, to trace the, the, the mothers to come for, 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 for the service. Okay. Hello, I'm um, Nadia. I'm a pediatrician who works at the Institute of Human Virology in Nigeria. Um, I wanted to ask, so we've been, you've been uh, showing us data on uh, some of the challenges with linkage to ART for the mother in PMTCT, and you talked about uh, the, the, some of the differences between ART and non-ART sites, but when you say ART site, is it an ART site that provides both adult and pediatric ART, because there might be issues if pediatric ART is not available for the maybe unfortunately HIV infected child. We want to make sure that there's prevention, but we also make, want to make sure that a positive child also gets linked to care. Okay. Uh, actually, these sites provide both uh, adult and pediatric care. Okay, thank you. Yes. And some of them are mobile sites. 